Will this do, Donkey? Will this do? Maybe I should take that down. You know what? I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. Okay. Okay, so I literally just filmed a haul and uploaded it. Like it was my last video. So, and I filmed a video, which will go up before this. And I'll probably have to film a video or a couple and put them up after this so that when I do upload this, it won't just be like haul and haul, even though that's like the case. Hmm. I thought I'd do a little gold liner today with a bold lip. And um, turns out my eyes just look really tiny. So now I'm just doing the dodgiest winged liner. So I don't look terrifying. And also I'm having a bad skin day. My makeup's been on since morning. It is now 6 p.m. It's been on since like 8 a.m. And so I've got kind of like, I don't know what, what went wrong today. But yeah, I think with the amount that I've been investing in skincare, something's got to, something has to work, right? Is that not the case? Hi. I just spent two minutes complaining. Okay. So yes, I have been shopping. I buy things with the intent of like creating content out of it which is dumb because I'm not getting any money from it. So I, I don't understand what I'm doing. But what it really is, is you are bored, you're in quarantine, you're still making some money, but not enough to like actually spend a lot, but you're like deluded into thinking that you have a lot of money. So you just keep buying things and then things keep showing up and then for like five minutes you're happy and then you're bored again, you wanna keep shopping. That's me. Even before the thing that you ordered arrives, you're like, I want more. And then you have all this stuff and you have nowhere to put it. This is my life right now, so I am turning it into content. <laughs> Maya was having 20% off again. <laughs> so I made an order. Jovelin, I have the hair perfume of the Wild Blue Bell spray, the Wild Blue Bell scent. And I really, really liked it. So, so I thought to myself, I need to get the full size. Uh, I was about to get the full size, and then I realized that they had this. And this is actually a trio. It has Wild Blue Bell, and then it also has English Pear Freesia and Tuberose Angelica. If you don't know much about Jo Malone, it's a very exquisite brand, they very luxury, and a huge chunk of their marketing is based around wedding scents. So if you were getting married, you would go to Jo Malone, you would pick the set that you were going to wear on your wedding day, and then it's kind of like a memory kind of thing. I don't know if they do custom scents or anything like that. I don't know if they have those in boutiques, but I think it's kind of like Le Labo or something like that. Um, so the idea with this one is that you get the, you get the, what size is this? You get the 30 mil of the Wild Blue Bell, and then you can pair it with either the English Parent Freesia or the Tuberose Angelica. So for a fresher scent, you'd go with this one, and for a warmer scent, you'd go with this one. And I actually really enjoy Wild Blue Bell, but I think I prefer these two by themselves um, more than this one, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm looking forward to being a drone alone ho as I grow and become more mature. There's a bigger world than Marc Jacobs Daisy in the Kat Von D perfumes, which the Kat Von D perfumes at KVD, Vegan Beauty, perfumes are absolutely divine. I got the MAC Pepper and Prime Fix Plus in the Cherry Blossom scent. I kept looking at this every time it was on sale and I just thought to myself, I'm just gonna go and do it. I love Fix Plus. I don't prefer this scent though. I'm kind of mad. I just love the packaging, but Ask anyone, I prefer the original Fix Plus scent over any scents that MAC has come out with in relation to Fix Plus. I know that they're coming out with a summer pride set, so I will not be going anywhere near that. I've learned my lesson at this point. I picked up a MAC Give Me Sun just because it's a stable and I really, really wanted to try it. I've been really into bronzers lately. Don't know why, I can't even get my base right these days. I also decided to finally pick up the, the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear. Um, I thought I was good at picking my shades online. Um, I did a whole lot of extensive research looking up different shades of this and different swatches and people wearing it. And I thought that number 10 beige porcelain was going to be my colour. Lo and behold, I know I am hail right now, but... I don't know. I tried it on and it was fine. I am wearing a, 
a foundation that is a bit too dark for me right now. So I guess I could mix it with my dark foundations that I've recently purchased because I wasn't checking properly. I'm sure at this moment in time because I am really, really pale. Due to the fact it is winter, we're in self-isolation, sort of, and I don't go out in the sun, so pale shade. I also got a pomegranate china from Estee Lauder, but I really don't think I like it. I thought it would be comparable to the Innisfree one. I also decided to pick up this Estee Lauder Nutritious Super Pomegranate Radiant Energy Lotion Intense Moist. I assumed it was going to be like my Innisfree Pomegranate Toner. I'm on the tail end of this one. Um, I don't think I like this. And I'm upset because there's a lot of it and I don't know what to do with it. So... I checked my purchases to see if there was anything I was missing. I got this uh, Lavender Holograph MAC glitter, which I love my glitter. I've also recently made a huge Charlotte Tilbury order. I spent a lot of money, but I will be doing a full face of first impressions on that. And I bought all this stuff. It costed so much money and I don't know if I regret it or not yet because I haven't tried it. I know that it is supposed to be like the best of the best makeup. But I recently watched some videos that were saying it's all right. It's it's all right. It's good, but it's not worth the price. So uh, I don't know if I'm feeling buyer's remorse yet, but we shall see. I will explain all of this in a later video because I want to do a dedicated review and video about this. But long story short, I've been looking into this. I've been looking into this specific chemical or acid um, in that has been that is starting to be seen in skincare here and there called hypochlorous acid. Um, I don't want to go too much into it, but you can do your own research about it. There isn't much yet, but I'm doing all the research. I'm compiling all the data and I'm getting as many products as I can with this ingredient in it so that I can do a video dedicated about it because I literally haven't seen anyone talk about it. Um, I went all through YouTube. The only thing I can see is the fact that it is used as a cleaning agent, non-toxic, very natural kind of cleaning agent, but it is also safe enough to be used on skin, obviously. When it is stabilized, that's, that's why you shouldn't use homemade hypochlorous acid on your skin. But anyway, the person that introduced me to this acid also introduced me to this brand. Um, and then from there I went trying to find out how I can get it because it didn't ship to Oz. Luckily at the time, like when I was checking their Instagram story, they said that they have they um, have a retailer in Australia. I DM'd them straight away and then I went onto the website and I made an order. I was on a mission. So the website is Clean Beauty Australia. It is based in, it's based in Queensland and I made an order from there. So it did take a couple, of, I think it took a week or two. I don't think it took that long to get to Melbourne um, and I'm glad that I snatched these up when I did because they were sold out within like a couple days. So the company is called Lumion Skin. Um, the main product I wanted to try was the high, the Oxygen Serum plus HOCL which is hypochlorous acid serum. I already said serum, didn't I? Yeah. The ingredients are literally oxygen, salt and water because HOCL is made with salt and water. And supposedly this product helps clear up your skin because it uses HOCL, which is found in our white blood cells. Anyway, as I said, I'll do a dedicated video on this. I don't want to go on it too much. I feel like I've already kind of spoiled the whole video. But I got this. This is their serum. This is their mist. They also have a hand sanitizer because, as I said, HOCL in itself is a sanitizer. Um, and to get free shipping or whatever, I got the Hydrating Accelerator by Josh Rosenbrook. Rosenbrook? Rosebrook. Um, it is literally a, it says to use um, while skin is damp to then apply serums or their, inf their own infusion serum um, so that, you know, you don't get transipid or water loss and whatnot. But all I see in the ingredients is oils. So I was, so I kind of would, I would use it as like a spray after my moisturizer as it like, you know, to, to lock all of the moisture in and the oils to like and the oils to like smooth out the top layer of my skin. That's probably what I would use it for, but um, it looks interesting. It also has um, hemp seed oil. It has it has aloe vera leaf juice as the first ingredient, and then it has jojoba oil, marula oil, vitamin E, evening primrose oil, grapeseed oil, seed buckthorn oil, cannabis sativa oil, hemp seed oil, sorry. I read cannabis and I was like, mm -hmm. um, Barrage seed oil, almond oil, sesame oil, goji berry oil it's just got a bunch of oils in it so i don't know the ingredients 
look like they just threw every oil that they could in here so i'm excited to use it i've never really heard much about josh rosebrook but it seemed like a very cool clean brand so i've just become like a skincare maniac at this point please just someone stop me <laughs> but no don't because i don't want to be stopped i discovered this company called tower tower 28 another clean beauty brand this is the daily rescue facial spray and it is it also is made with HOCL. What is the ingredients here? I'm assuming it is very similar to the Lumion Skin Spray. Again, I don't want to go too much into it, but that's that. And because I made a revolve order and I couldn't find any clothes that were decently priced that I liked, I got more skincare. I've always wanted to try the skincare brand Herbivore, so I got this set. It is called the Glow Potions. And I'm glad I got this because it was like a decent price for two um, of their most famous products. And their packaging is so pretty like prison like it, it's it's like holographic are you serious this is the 12 percent aha 3 percent bha uh, glow serum so it is a chemical exfoliating serum and this is the emerald cbd oil <laughs> not that there's much research done about cbd oil i just wanted to try it out and i don't know if you can even get it here i don't mean, i don't think they read they i don't think there's a place in australia that actually retails it um that's probably why milk makeup hasn't come to australia yet hopefully one day this is a korean skincare brand tony moly it's the vital vita 12 and moisture ample it is just it is just a serum that is filled with just really nice what's that word for not occlusive well like hyaluronic acid is humectant i think it's just full of really good humectants it's, the first couple of ingredients just um just glycerin and niacinamide i love niacinamide it's just got some nice ingredients it actually has a little bit of retinol in it too so i probably wouldn't use it every day yeah it's got really nice ingredients i suggest you i suggest you look it up because it looks good but it's very watery for a serum i will say they gave me a little sand and sky uh australia australian pink clay pore refining mask apparently this is really expensive I'm not one to always go for the clay masks, but if I really do feel like my skin is just disgusting and congested and oily, sometimes I'll put a thick mask like this on because, and I've been having a couple of those days lately, so I might try that out. Call me a slave to capitalism because I am. But I've always been curious about at anything that says anti-pollution or anti-blue light. Um, so this, yeah, this is the incredible Good Day Jelly Spray. It's supposed to be like something that you could use to prime, protect and set with and you know you use it over makeup or you use it as like a defense spray um and it's like a jelly texture the problem with it is i've tried it a couple times and it's a camel spitter it does not have a fine spray so there's no way that you could set your makeup with this unless like i don't know if you'll be able to see but let me try to like i mean if it was far away enough but it's still got still gives you those like i don't know if you can see but it feels like there's just a bunch of like <laughs> wet dots. So what I would probably do is spray it on my hand and then kind of just like pat it in if, if anything. But it's got a decent ingredient list. Kind of reminds me of the Tony Molly serum, but just like not as big. It is what it is. I am just an embarrassment at this point. I got these from Maya as well because they were doing, I think they were half price actually each. And this is another Korean skincare brand called Neogen. And I assumed that these had HOCL in them, but there's... I went on that Neogen website, they had no proper ingredient list. I don't know, I think I ended up finding an ingredient list on a um, on a website that explains to you what ingredients are and what they mean in skincare products. And I thought that these had a HOCL, or this one especially had a HOCL in it, but it didn't. They do just on the front have the active ingredient. So this one says the active ingredient is hydrogen. So it reinforces and strengthens skin and creates a moisture barrier to maintain moisture balance while helping the skin recover its vitality. It's just a serum spray. And this is also a serum spray, but this is but this one's active ingredient is oxygen. And it reinforces and increases the skin's energy throughout through delivery of energy boosting ingredients and recovery of healthy complexion and skin radiance. So they both kind of have the same idea. I think they also have the same idea as HOCL, so I don't know if hydrogen, oxygen, you know, they're just supposed to be really hydrating. Um, and they have a really nice fine mist, so it's really good. They're pretty heavily scented. I think this one's scented too, but it's a different scent. They're both scented, unfortunately. This is gonna bother so many people. It's already bothering me that I don't give a shit anymore. Um, I also got this from, I got this from eBay and I assumed that it was going to be bigger because it was 
too expensive for it to be this small. This is a HSCL topical skin spray as well by Biotech. I just wanted to get as many things as I could get my hands on in Australia that had HSCL in them for the skin. I picked up two things from The Ordinary. I haven't actually never tried anything from The Ordinary for someone that always recommends The Ordinary. I never have tried anything from them, but since I have tried things from the Inky List and Good Molecules, the Beautylish brand, I assume that they're all the same thing. Um, so I ended up picking up the Niacinamide with Zinc uh, because my Niacinamide from Good Molecules is pretty much out. And I love and I love that product, but I'm not planning on making a beauty lish order anytime soon, um, just because I need to stop. <laughs> so I decided to pick up the ordinary one, and I assume it's the same thing. I hope it is because I love that niacinamide. Um, and I, I also decided to splurge a bit. When do I not? And I decided to get the ordinary buffet, but the one that has copper peptides or one percent. I believe the regular buffet also has peptides, but this one has a stronger one. The ingredients of this actually has a really long ingredient list, um, but apparently it's good. It's mainly uh, water glycerin, peptides, and different kinds of hyaluronic acids, I assume. The coolest thing, though, the thing that I find the coolest for some reason is that, is that the color of the solution is blue. I know I'm so far away anyway, it's not like you, it's not like you care. Okay, well you thought this haul was over, you thought wrong because here's the stuff that I haven't opened. This is why I went so far away so I could open my packages, but literally no point love, no point. I want you to get one of these little slices. They don't really, they, they're just like made for opening packages, but not like hurting your fingers. So this is from YesStyle. They were having an insane sale, which I don't know if that's just marketing and all of this stuff is usually that cheap, but they always pretend it's on sale. Who knows? Then they made me a silver member for free. Because why not? I've never actually bought from them, but I remember in high school, a girl um, ended up buying some products that I asked her to buy me. And then I gave her the money, obviously, from YesStyle. So I know that it's a legitimate website and I also see a lot of influencers buy from there. I basically brought myself a new skincare routine. When I have about 10 skincare routines all scattered around my room in my bathroom. And what about it? Uh, <laughs> and all of these products were supposedly bestsellers. I read all the reviews and they were really good. This is Iunique Propolis Vitamin Synergy Serum. It is a vitamin C serum. I believe... I just want the English translations of what I had bought because I don't want to send any miscommunication out. This is, yes, Vitamin Synergy Serum, 50 mil. For how much did I buy for? I don't know, but um, apparently it was it was about $60 down to 22. It's 70% propolis and 12% hypophate rem... Where's my, where's my friend that's a chemist? <laughs> She'll be able to understand all of this. Hip, hypophate rem... remnoid... remnoid... remnoids rich in vitamin C. So I think there's... So the ingredient... I want to come here closer. So the ingredient that is... that I can't pronounce, that has... that there is 12% of in, that 12% of it is in here, that this product has 12% of, um, is... has vitamin C in it. So it's essentially a vitamin C serum. With Kintala and witch hazel. Oh, fuck. Every time... every time... I get something and then it has witch hazel in it. So that's not going to be a fun time. Um, maybe it's there to stabilize. I don't know. Um, help. I just remember being a teenager and watching a whole lot of YouTube videos and um, being told to buy witch hazel and then and use coconut oil as a moisturizer and um, buy the St. Ives apricot scrub. And I was like, yeah, okay, I'm going to do that. Look at me now. I still have shit skin. No, I never had shit skin. Um, I need to stop talking. This is... Peptide Ample Cream contains 100 meg of copper peptides. Oh, copper part tripeptides. Functional concentrated cream. So this is another copper peptide cream. Um, knowing full well that I bought this, I decided to buy the buffet. With, don't know who, don't know what, don't, don't know where I am. Thought I saw ants. This is 50 ml. I'm not gonna open it because like once it opens and gets oxygen in it, then it's like then it starts its use by day. This product. <laughs> This is 
this product right here, Boho Water Free Herb Hand Cleanser. Guess what ingredient this has? Just guess, like take a wild, take a wild one. We'll see, we'll be seeing that later. I got the infamous, I got the Cosarac Color. I got the infamous AHA BHA Clarifying Treatment Toner by Cosrx. I believe that the BHA um, specific um, toner was a bit more expensive than this, so I decided to pick this one up. And I think that was more of a bestseller than this one is. But I'm really excited about this because I have heard nothing but great things and I think it's been leaking. Just just a wild guess. It's been, mm, yes. Oh, this is, I'm so excited for, this is the Co Coelph. This is the Coelph Medesca Medesca Side Clarifying Body Spray. This you're supposed to spray on your KP. Um, if you don't know what KP is, ker something keratosis pilaris. Per per I don't even know. Keratosis pilaris. It's the bumpy red dots that you get on your arms. Um, some people are blessed and don't have it and some people just have it. So I mainly got this for my sister to try. I believe this was about $24 down from I don't know what. I get it too. So yeah, it's um, essentially just a body spot control formula, purifying sebum care and after shower use. First aid beauty, KP, a scrub or lotion or whatever it is, is always sold out. So this one looked really good and it had really good reviews. Apparently it gets rid of KP. What are the ingredients? What are the ingredients? Oh, it's 150 mil. I wasn't expecting to be so big. This was really good. Oh my god, it's down even more now, I think. Hmm, that's okay. Oh my, guess what ingredient it's got? Witch hazel. <sighs> oh, now I'm just annoyed because it's like, it's not even like the fact that it's in there, the fact that it's like the third ingredient, but I'm hoping because it is a Korean beauty brand, it might be okay. Um, I got, this is a bit boring. This is the Cosrx Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser. Just a classic cleanser. Nothing too interesting. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Oh, I'm so excited about this. This is the Misha. Misha. I'm sorry if I don't know how to pronounce it. This is the Misha BB Cream in SPF 42. Um, it is apparently one of the best BB Creams out there. Um, when I did make that Yes Style order all those years ago, I had the Lee Wally BB Cream and the Skin... 79 one I believe I don't know if I, I don't think I still have them it's been so long um but the issue that I had with them was they were kind of like a one size fits all they only had a couple of of shades or one shade and it was always really pale and I would buff it in and it would suit my skin tone but it would always be a bit too gray for me so these have different shades I got mine in natural beige 23 and it looks like this and I'm really excited to try it because I haven't had a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer in so long. Sometimes you don't want a full face, but I never always want to just put concealer on and I never want to put foundation on if I'm not doing a full face. So I end up just not wearing makeup. So this is going to be really good. Plus SPF 42. This here is the, oh, this was also really, really raved about. This is from Purito. Purito. This is the Centella Green Level Face Serum, I believe. I would compare this to the green... T serum by Innisfree. I don't think it's the exact same thing, but it just looks like it. And apparently Centella's is a really, really amazing ingredient. Uh, so I'm excited about that. Anything that's just hydrating on it, I'm just like drawn to. I'm, I'm such a, like, I feel so dumb right now. Like, what? On this bottle, that's printed on this bottle, the only words that I really am familiar with is um, the peptide complex. Oh, I'm so excited about this stuff. I'm, I'm going to ruin my skin to by trying to find what works best for it. This is the also the Perito Centella Green Level Safe Sun. This apparently is a really, really popular sunscreen. Apparently this is the ultraviolet range, but they are chemical sunscreens and people don't really like it. It doesn't have that bad ingredient that's in chemical sunscreens. I'm literally looking up bad ingredient in chemical sunscreens and I can't even spell sunscreen. Oh, it's, uh, I think it's oxybenzone. Oxybenzone, I believe. Yes, oxybenzone. I don't believe those have oxybenzone in them, but this is a mineral sunscreen, so I believe it's, mm, is it? I don't know if it's, mm, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna pretend I know, but it is SPF 50 plus, and it's got UVA and UVB, I believe. Actually, I don't know if they're allowed to say that because it's Korean, and I don't know about the regulations about sunscreen, but. <laughs> 
shut the fuck up, Easter. This is apparently really good. I forgot that I got this. Because uh, I was looking at it, I was like, oh, apparently the reviews are really good about this. Um, I've been looking around. And then I just read my order overview and it said that I got this. And I was like, wait, what? Did I get this? This is another Neogen product. It is the Real Ferment Micro Essence. Um, I have I have the SK2 Essence um, and I actually really like it. But I wanted to see if there was something and surely there was because come on you're telling me that this hundred dollar for i want to say it's 50 mils you're telling me this insanely overpriced essence is like the best one out of all of them it's just because it's so pretty and that's why i think it's i'm obsessed with packaging and like oh my god it's so pretty i want more but i decided to get this one um so when i finish that one i'm gonna try this one um yeah it's do i have to mix it or is that just the that no that's just how the bottle looks uh, you don't need essence it is very unnecessary but when you're a crazy woman like I am, well, I'm not crazy, but like I'm a crazy spender. <laughs> you tend to want things that you don't need. So yeah. Last but not least, this is also for a video. Like that's why I made the order. But New by Nature was, and I believe might still be doing it. Depends on when I upload this. The end of financial year sale. Everything is 50% off except for the big bundles, which which I was annoyed about because I thought I was getting a good deal by getting like all of this good deal plus half price, but I wasn't. I believe I got enough for a full face, but not everything that like I originally was going to get. My friend and I have made a pact that we're not gonna talk, we're not gonna buy anything without consulting each other. And the problem with that is that we're both is like crazy spenders. So I don't know why we both decided to be each other's keepers, but yeah. In any case, he managed to get me from a $300 order down to like $120, $20 order and he ended up getting something too. So what are friends for? But essentially I just got a bunch of face products. I got this set that has their mineral powders and stuff like that. I did get a BB cream from them and I did get them. I got a bunch of lip products and um, a bunch of contouring things and I did get one of their bundles that had a bunch of things in like a mini size so that I could try it. And if I hated it, then I wouldn't have to worry about it. Um, and luckily this was actually 50% off and I wanted to try their mineral makeup uh, because at the time that like New Do I Nature came out, I just remember it was very just mineral based and they didn't have any liquid products actually. I think when everyone got obsessed with makeup and things like that, I skipped the mineral makeup phase. I went straight from watching girls get cake faced in the girls locker room to being obsessed with YouTube and knowing more about makeup than most people did at the time. Now everyone knows everything. And I hate to be that person that's like, I knew it before, but like I did. Yep. So I just want to see if mineral makeup is as like, is as prevalent in today's society as it once was. Otherwise, why are they still selling mineral makeup? Maybe to appease the OG consumers. Um, but then why would they be making like liquid products? Well, because they have to, they're a brand. They need to appease everyone. So yeah, I'm excited for that. Otherwise, that has been my haul. But all of this is going to be used so that I can create content for you. Cute. Okay, I'm gonna go clean this up now and then um, edit my other video and then try to figure out what else to film before I post this so that you're not getting like haul after haul. Bye!